Hello everyone, I am Sir David. Previously, I have presented the general guiding principles in teaching literacy in the elementary level. In this video, I will be presenting the value of children's literature. For our introduction, giving children access to a wide range of reading is critical to their success. Educators, parents, and community members should all work together to assist children develop a love of reading. Reading literature is beneficial for a variety of reasons, including the development of cognitive skills necessary for success in school or at job. Children's literature is important. Why? Because it allows students to respond to literature. It also teaches students about their own cultural heritage as well as that of others. It fosters emotional intelligence and creativity in students. It fosters the growth and development of a student's personality and social skills. And it passes down important literature and themes from one generation to the next. Now let us dig deeper to each of the values of children's literature. First, children's literature provides students with the opportunity to respond to literature and develop their own opinions about the topic. This strengthens the cognitive developmental domain as it encourages deeper thought about literature. Quality literature does not tell the reader everything he or she needs to know. It allows for some difference in opinion. One reader may take something completely different away from the piece of literature than the next reader based on the two personal viewpoints and experiences. Students can learn to evaluate and analyze literature as well as summarize and hypothesize about the topic. Norton says that for children, wordless picture books are excellent stimuli for oral and written language. Students reading wordless books like a Ball for Daisy, The Yellow Umbrella, or The Red Book will be able to analyze the illustrations and develop their own dialogue for the story. This strengthens students' cognitive functions in being able to form opinions on their own and to express themselves through language in summarizing the plot of a wordless book. Second value, children's literature provides an avenue for students to learn about their own cultural heritage and the cultures of other people. It is crucial for children to learn these values because developing positive attitudes toward our own culture and the cultures of others is necessary for both social and personal development. Again, that's according to Norton. However, when teaching students about the cultural heritage of others, one should be very careful in selecting which books to recommend to young readers. There are many stories, some folk tales, which contain blatant stereotypes and inaccuracies about certain cultural groups, so we have to be careful with that. Many books are available that depict culture as an important piece of society that is to be treasured and valued, and those books can have great value for students. Let's proceed to the third value. Children's literature helps students develop emotional intelligence. Stories have the power to promote emotional and moral development. Children's literature contains numerous moments of crisis when characters make moral decisions and contemplate the reasons for their decisions, an important skill for children to see modeled, according to Norton. Also, children's literature encourages students to think deeper about their own feelings. Let us now proceed to the fourth value of children's literature. Children's literature encourages creativity. Norton stresses the role that literature plays in nurturing and expanding the imagination. Also, children's literature promotes the development of students' internal imaginations. Fifth value, children's literature fosters personality and social development. In what way? Children are very impressionable during the formative years, and children's literature can help them develop into caring, intelligent, and friendly people. 
developmental psychologist Shan Piaget says that when students move from the pre-operational to the operational stage of cognitive development, they become less egocentric. Whereas students in preschool and kindergarten may be entirely focused on themselves, as students grow older, they begin to take into account the feelings and viewpoints of others. Being able to understand other people's viewpoints and to not be selfish are important skills that adults must nurture in children. As Norton says that acceptable relationships require an understanding of the feelings and viewpoints of others. Children's literature can foster social development by encouraging students to accept other people and their differences. Children's literature can also encourage students to develop relationships with people, encouraging social contact. Literature encourages students to be considerate and friendly people, and these traits may be consistent with developing students into quality citizens. Let us now proceed to our last value of children's literature. Children's literature is a timeless tradition. What do we mean by timeless tradition? Classic stories like Dr. Seuss and to think that I heard it on Mulberry Street and the Cat in the Hat are important books to read to children because of their literary heritage. For a younger audience, children could build their cognitive and language skills through exposure to Mother Goose rhymes. Children are only young for a short time, and so we must give them access to a basic literary heritage of timeless books. Quality children's literature has the great power to captivate audiences for many generations. And for our conclusion, both in the classroom and at home, children's reading is incredibly helpful. Teachers and parents should be able to distinguish between good and bad literature in order to provide kids with the best books and to promote these crucial literary values while taking developmental domains into account. Also, children's literature is important for providing students of all generations with opportunities to respond to reading as well as cultural understanding, emotional intelligence and creativity, social and personality development, and literature history. Finally, exposing children to good literature can help them grow up to be responsible, successful, and loving people. And that ends my presentation on the topic, the value of children's literature. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.